Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus, chapter 22. Today, verses 29 and 30, and here's what it says. You shall not delay the offering from your harvest and your vintage. The firstborn of your sons you shall give to me. You shall do the same with your oxen and with your sheep. It shall be with its mother seven days. On the eighth day you shall give it to me. So have you ever been like giving, you normally return tithes and offerings through your place of worship, your church, and uh, you got behind. Did that ever happen to you? It's happened to a lot of different people at different times and places. Have you ever noticed if you get behind, it's very hard to get caught back up again? A lot of times this kind of thing can happen and it's very hard to get things in order. So if God is truly first for you and I in our lives, then we should always give the offering first to him. So when it says in verse 29, do not delay the offering from your harvest or your vintage, and the firstborn of your sons you shall give also to me. Uh, what about that? Does that mean we have to sacrifice our children? No, that's not what that means. That means we're going to dedicate our firstborn, especially to God, in a sort of a sanctifying way. We're going to treat our children as what they are, the, the privilege, uh, a gift from God that he gives to us, a special thing. And so... Uh, that's what that's standing for. Uh, what about this 30? You shall do the same with your oxen and your sheep. So your harvest, your animals, and right in between there, even your own babies. You treat them with great uh, value. Um, what about the one here that says this animal will be with its mother seven days and on, on the eighth day you shall give it to me? Well, remember that people weren't even people who were circumcised, the male children. Uh, they weren't circumcised on day one, two, or three, or four. They were circumcised only after about a week had gone by. See, so here it is again with these animals. When an animal is born, you know, it's covered with uh, placenta and, and great stuff like that. So the mother cleans them up, the mother animal. And so before an animal would be ready to be cleaned and offered, it's good for a week to go by. And he says so right here. Also, you know, the mother, her body has been building up this baby. Uh, and there's a, surely there's some emotional bond. I don't even though animals may not have certainly don't have human intellect. Uh, they do have feelings and things too, and in whatever measure they have that, we should treat them with kindness and generosity. So, yeah, the mother gets to have a little bit of time with the baby before the baby here is given as an offering. The baby animal, the baby cow, the baby sheep. So, anyway, here we have it. Interesting bits. Uh, but again, putting God first and keeping him first and, and just keep him first all the time. Things will work out so much better. Hey, have a wonderful day today in the service of the Lord Jesus, each one of you.